Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this is all about Tilly sharing money with her friend. So Tilly has £20. She gives £5.40 to her friend. Tilly now has twice as much money as her friend. How much money did her friend have at the start? Well the obvious thing to do first is to work out how much money Tilly's got left if she gives away £5.40. So this is going to be £20 subtract £5.40. Now, since we've got a decimal point in the £5.40, we could put a decimal point in the £20 and put 0 0.00 on the end. Now, many of you will be able to do this in your head. So if you knock off the £5 from £20, you would be left with £15. And if you knock off the 40p, you would be left with, from £15, you'd be left with £14.60. So it seems like that she has £14.60 left. But let's just double check with the column method. So 0 take away 0 is 0. 0 take away 4 we can't do, so we need to borrow. We can't borrow from the 0 because there's nothing to borrow from. So we need to borrow from the 2. The 2 becomes 1. And the 1 we've borrowed makes this 0 into 10. This 0 becomes 9. And the 1 we've borrowed makes this 0 into 10. Now, we don't actually need to borrow from that 10 because we've already done the first column of where there's two zeros. So now we can just continue. 10 take away 4 is 6. 9 take away 5 is 4. And 1 take away nothing is 1. So we are indeed looking at £14.60. So Tilly has £14.60 left. But we are told that she now has twice as much money as a friend. So this £14.60 must be twice as much money as a friend. So if we half that, we will find out how much a friend's got. So we need to do half of £14.60. In other words, £14.60 divided by 2. So 2's into 1 won't go, but we haven't really used the 1 yet, so carry the 1 across. 2's into 14 goes 7 times. 2's into 6 goes 3 times, and 2's into 0 goes no times. So that's £7.30. So a friend must actually have £7.30. But this is after Tilly has given her the money. Now it does say how much money did a friend have at the start. And this £7.30 is at the end. So at the start... This was before she was given the £5.40. So what we need to do is start with the £7.30 and subtract off the £5.40 that she was given. See where that takes us. So 0 take away 0 is 0. 3 take away 4 we can't do. So borrow. 7 becomes a 6 and the one we borrowed makes 13. 13 take away 4 is 9. 6 take away 5 is 1. So she must have had £1.90 at the start. So the final answer is £1.90. Let's just double check the main points. So she was given £5.40. So if she started with £1.90 and you add these two numbers together, £5.40 and £1.90 would get us back to £7.30. But Tilly has got twice as much as this. So twice as much as £7.30, if you double the £7.30, would get you back to the £14.60. Because, But the £14.60 is what Tilly's got left after she's given the £5.40 away. So if she took the £5.40 back and you add that back onto the £14.60, that would get you back to her starting total of £20. So it all seems to fit in and make sense. So the final answer is £1.90. That's how much your friend had at the start.